Hi, my name is Dawn Reese. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of The Wooden Floor, and it's my pleasure to be with you today and welcome you to our first Holiday Appeal video. Today I have with me Monet, who's with the class of 2023. I'm often asked about our students and our families and how they're faring through COVID-19 and the pandemic, and I thought no better way than ask Monet to join us so she can share a little bit about her story and how she's been faring over the last few months and her journey here at the wooden floor. So thank you, Monet, for being with us. And I'd like to just ask you a couple questions. So Monet, you know, one of the things that struck me with your story was that you count the number of days you have left here at the wooden floor. Could you talk to me about that and why that's so meaningful for you? That is meaningful to me, counting down the days and the years I have left at the wooden floor because I want to make the best out of each time I am at the wooden floor and the times that I am dancing because it means a lot to me. When I started the wooden floor, I was in fourth grade, but specifically in sixth grade, I remember I was upstairs by the, the picture board and I counted on my fingers and I was like, wow, I have six more years. That's a lot, but I know it's gonna come fast. And now that I'm in high school, it's like, I have three more years. And to me, that's very crazy and it makes me feel really sad because I don't ever want to leave. I know, I think when you, you think about leaving, you think you'll, you'll be gone forever, but you know, we look at you as you'll be an alumni and you'll be with our family forever here at the Wind Floor. We'll always be with you, you know, after you leave the Wind Floor. And you know, it means a lot for our alums to come back eventually, but we know you still have three more years because you're the class of 2023. So that means you're, what, a sophomore this year or a freshman? Yes, I am. Okay, wow, that's great. Can you talk about how you're navigating everything right now, you and your family, and how the wooden floor has been helping you during this time? Um, I know with school and distance learning it probably has been difficult and other things in your family and and how you've helped yourself too because I think you know one of the things we help with our students is that resilience so if you could talk about how you've helped yourself my family and I were doing all right we're just hanging in there so we're doing pretty good school has been very different and at some times is difficult I know other families and other other students out there they're having a difficult time too because we're all going through this pandemic together. I really miss the in-person experience. Same goes with dance especially. The wooden floor has helped me through this pandemic or just in general, because the I think a couple months ago, my sister's Chromebook wasn't working anymore. So the wooden floor provided provided Chromebooks and my sister got one and she's been very happy and very grateful for it. And every time she uses it, she's so excited and she doesn't have to think of all the problems her old one had. Another reason the wooden floor has helped me through the pandemic is by doing dance, even though it's through the screen, just seeing my classmates and just seeing my teacher makes me happy and it helps me get my motivation up because I know other kids don't have that motivation. And overall, this is the opportunities the wooden floor has provided for me and my sister, like the college tours, the summer activities, um, the summer camps, the fun ones, <laughs> and concert especially. And then we're hoping that, you know, next year we're gonna be able to return to some of our camps and hopefully definitely concert. We're working on that right now to announce very soon. So um, hopefully that will all be in the works in 2021. We can all return to our everyday life, right? But we're just um, we're just so proud of you and all the determination you and your sister and your family have, you know, to overcome these challenges, you know, and with the positivity that you do have, you know, that's a hopeful optimism for your future. So we appreciate that. One of the things you were talking about, um, and you were kind of talking about your sister, but also um, you mentioned uh, Leilani, and she's with the Wooden Floor. You know, I too have a sister. Her name's Jenny, and she's actually been on a career day panel. For the wooden floor and she means a lot to me and I know Leilani means a lot to you and could you talk about her being at the wooden floor but also a role model for you? My sister has always been a role model to me ever since I was in elementary. She has always been there for me even though I never had something to say or needed to talk to someone I know that she was there. 
I know in elementary, we always do those little assignments that say about me and they always have who is your role model. And I would always put my sister and I always would bring a little picture of her just to put on there just to show that this is my sister and she is my role model. It's really nice to have her at the wooden floor with me because we can experience more things together and have a better bond. Also just meeting new people and just hanging around with Jerry and everyone who's there and just making laughs in front of the lobby and everything. It's also nice to have her at the wooden floor too because when she's at dance and I don't have dance class, I still go and I do homework and I hang around with anyone or whoever's there and it's really fun. It's like my second home to just be there. It's like Aww. I feel like I'm welcome every time I walk in those doors. Oh, that's nice. You know, and I think what's nice is while you're waiting for for classes, you can work on, you know, seeing people and hanging out and feeling really comfortable, it sounds like, which is really, really important that you feel that way. So, you know, one of the things that, um, you know, when I was um, learning about you some more, I know I've known you all these years, but when I read these words that really struck me, um, you know, the wooden part completes you. And well, oh, those really are important words. And can you talk about how the wooden floor completes you? I feel like the wooden floor completes me because I always knew that I was missing something or I felt that there was something else for me out there. And once I found out about the wooden floor, I was like, wow, I want to do this. I want to go dance. I want to take more dance classes since I already did a couple before that. And it's just like, I feel like in me, I knew that I don't know where I where I would be or what I would do during those hours I, I am at dance. I can't imagine myself not being there. I feel at one point in my life, I would have found out and I knew that I would have been there. And I knew that I went, I would have been there for it. And I know the wooden floor was has been there for me. So then it'd be psh, <laughs> it pulled you here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you. So I just want to say thank you so much, Moni, for talking with me right now. And um, I just enjoyed getting to know you even more. And I just want to thank everyone for joining us as well. You know, during this holiday season that we're approaching, um, you know, we still know that a lot of there's a lot of challenges in our community with COVID and, and um, the pandemic and we know there are a lot of challenges and we just like to thank you for your support. And if you have a heart for our mission and you want to help students like Monet and her sister Leilani and our fellow students, we'd like to encourage you to support our mission and go to thewoodenfloor.org slash caring and we'd like to wish you a wonderful holiday season. On behalf of Monet, her sister Leilani, our fellow students here at the Wooden Floor, and we'd both like to say happy holidays, happy holidays. to you. Happy holidays. So thank you so much. And again, Monet, it was a beautiful time to be with you. So thank you. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. <laughs>